I'm not someone who restricts myself to one thing mm. ever. I've never been that person. Maybe I have ADD, but I want to be able to do everything. Don't accept the box and then go show them that you're different. I don't really classify my own tracks stuff like cuz I I, I, I kind of like just look at it as music. I don't want to like put myself into one genre. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. Good morning, Believe Nation, it's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have an amazing gift inside you that I wanna see explode out onto the world. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Don't limit yourself. Over to you, Priyanka Chopra. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. Why was it important to produce? I'm a storyteller and I I'm not someone who restricts myself to one thing mm. ever. I've never been that person. Maybe I have ADD, but I want to be able to do everything. Why can't we do everything? Sure. You know, as and especially women, we are we are great at multitasking. So I I want to produce, I want to have a business. I'm going to I'm producing here, I'm going to produce in India, Hindi films, regional films. Mm. I want to be able to act in them, maybe not. You know there's so many things that I can do which I want to be able to explore. People will want to put you in a box. They'll want to tell you what you can and you can't do. And you know what? That's okay. You can't control them. But you don't have to put yourself in a box. You can't let their limited perspective of what you can and cannot do define the person that you are. Don't accept the box and then go show them that you're different. It reminds me of Kanye West has got this great line where it says don't put me in a box. If you put me in a box, you put in yourself in a box. They don't even realize that when they box me in or try to verbally put me in some type of box or put Donda in a box, that they're really showing their level of ignorance. They're putting themselves in a box. Here's a guy who was put in a box his entire career. He was making beats and nobody thought he'd be a good beat maker and then all of a sudden he was a good beat maker. He then wanted to get into rapping and people told him, "Don't go into rapping, you're great at making beats. You can't be a rapper. You're not going to make that transition." And then he became a great rapper. I don't know if you guys know this, but Kanye has won 21 Grammy awards. He's one of the most successful Grammy award-winning artists of all time. Of all time. And then he decided, "I'm not going to rap. I'm going to go into fashion. I want to make shoes." And people said, "You're crazy. You can't go off and make shoes." And then he makes a deal with Nike, and then he makes a deal with Adidas, and he starts selling out all of his shoes. And so the limits that people put on him, he doesn't accept. Now, there may be a whole bunch of other things about Kanye that you don't like, some of the things he says, some of the way he acts. You may not agree with it. That's okay. Don't pull that from him. But that unwillingness to be boxed in, that unwillingness to accept other people's limitations, I think is really 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 important. It's what you can be inspired by. It's why I made one of my first top 10 rules videos on Kanye because I wanted to show people the good side. It's like, yes, there's all this negativity, but there's also a lot of positivity that people are not taking away from it. So I look at my own career. You know, science was my worst subject growing up. I hated it. I dropped it as soon as possible. I was never into computers. Uh, I liked sports. I liked a bunch of other things. And suddenly in university, I had this opportunity to join a biotech startup and be one of the owners. And I'm like, okay. I'm not going to limit myself. Just because I sucked at science and computers growing up, it doesn't mean that I can't have success here. And so because I removed the limits on myself, we started to have success. I started to win in that business. When I sold that company, when we got acquired, I became a venture capitalist. I knew nothing about venture capital. I knew nothing about raising money. I just had this curiosity and intuition. I wanted to learn more about it, and so we did. Instead of raising half a million to 15 million for companies that wanted to grow, that turned into me being a public speaker and me having my website. Again, not skills that I had. I was not part of the debate team or public speaking team or anything. I had the worst skills. Go back on my YouTube channel. from 9 years ago and look at my videos and how poor the content was i did not have a natural ability for it. somebody here even uh, a friend was passing by and said man you have such a natural ability to be in front of the camera like no i've just done 6000 videos but i didn't accept the limitation i didn't accept the box that i couldn't go off and do it right and so moving from the website to a youtube channel then being an author i didn't think i wanted to write books i hated writing I wasn't a fan of writing. I didn't want to write books. I didn't think I needed to write books to get my message out there. I'm much more of a visual learner, so I'd much rather create videos. But these two books, they just felt more like a book than it would a video. 
And so I didn't accept the box anymore, right? I didn't accept the box that I'm not a writer. And so I so often find people hold themselves back because they've accepted the box that other people have put them in. They've accepted the box that they have put themselves in, but it's not a real box. Like you can easily break through it. It's just paper, right? It's this paper, super soft box that you can easily smash through if you wanted to. It reminds me of the story of the elephant. It's an elephant that is tied up to a, a tree with a, with a little chain. And when they're babies, they can't break free of the chain because they're too small. And so they, they've learned that I have this chain on me. And so this tree is here. I have the chain on, I can't go. As they get older, if they keep the chain on, even though the elephant could rip the tree with the roots right out, they've accepted the limitation of that chain. And they just stay still. And they recognize that they're in captivity. And they can't pull it out. And so every major growth that I've faced in my business has come from me yanking free one of those changes, by me smashing through one of those boxes. You know, Alex told me the other week that he hates it when people ask him, what does Evan do? Because it's hard for him to come up with an answer. And I love that. I don't accept the box and you shouldn't either. Now I have a special bonus clip for you, but before I get into it, my question of the day for you today is, I'm curious, what is the box? What is the label? What are the limitations that other people are putting on you? They say you can't do it. Leave in the comments below. Let's break free of them together. I'm really curious to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of espresso and enjoy the bonus. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I want to be viewed with the greats, period, not just the R&B greats. I, yeah. feel like, I feel like that's kind of where people, people miss the mark with me a little bit. Like R&B is, R&B was my, my introduction into this whole music okay. business thing. It's where, it's where I came in at. But R&B is one room in the mansion that is music, you okay. know what I mean? And I'm, I'm trying to explore the mansion. It don't, it don't, I don't got to just sit in this one room. Right. I, I don't think people sh should put me in this one room. That's, that's the reason that, you know, I, I ventured over into the pop world, ventured over into the Got EDM it, world, okay. just trying to trying to get people to look at me as music in general, not just R&B music, not just pop music or dance music, but just music. I think people were just hearing the same stuff. And, you know, there's a point where like, you know, Progressive House or whatever you want to call it, like, you know, 128 BPM, like, you know, a couple years ago, that was the new hot thing. That was what everyone wanted to hear. You know, they wanted to go and dance really fast or whatever it is. They wanted to go to a party and now it's like, you know, there's been so much of it. Kygo has now come with a new genre. I guess maybe it was because there's like, there's no trouble, like there's no beaches and like the summer is very short in Norway. So maybe I was just like, I was sitting in my room dreaming about summer, dreaming about beaches and dreaming. So I, maybe that was the reason why I started making that music I made today. Do you like the label Tropical House? Is that appropriate or? Yeah, I guess I guess it makes sense because it's like it's it's music that fits for the summer. But uh, I I don't really like uh, I don't really classify my own tracks Tropical House because I I, I kind of like just look at it as music. I don't want to like put myself into one genre. As you shift your attention to your future and to what's next, I want you to think about this quote from Henry Ford. Whether you think you can do it or you think you cannot, you are right. Those words are more meaningful today than I would have ever thought when I was sitting where you are. I had the same worries about my future as you all have, but what I would like you to think about is that for the vast majority of you, the limitations on what you can achieve are to a very large degree self-imposed. Whether it is an external voice telling you that you cannot achieve something, or it's that internal voice of fear and of doubt that prevents you from pursuing your passion. These can often be more limiting factors than the actual career world itself. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value, is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. If you want another amazing video highlighting excellence in the Indian community, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.